Okay, so we're going to look at um, how to open doors and then use the expert uh, export merge function. So if we put in a normal um, double door, so find a wood door here, like this one for example, pop it into the wall. Uh, there you go, just center that. Um, you'll see there it is. Okay, so if we export this, uh, just select everything there, target of observer point. Uh, there's our double door. Now, if we select this door, um, it's a single object. Um, it is made out of uh, separate pieces, but it is a bit of a mission to uh, select them. So the one method you can use is um, you can hold down, you can select each part, you can hold down shift to select multiple parts. I'm going to go through to the other side here and select, um, okay, all the door handles are selected. I'm going to go through to the top view. Um, I'm going to zoom into where the door is. I'm going to go to my edit arrow, choose rotate, drag the pivot point to um, the edge there, and then just adjust the swing of the door so it opens up. And if I go back inside the room, you can see that the door is opened up. Okay. <coughs> now, just to recap um, those doors, uh, you've got your different selection modes here. And uh, the first one is object selection. That selects the whole object as a whole. As you can see, it all becomes highlighted in green. But then you've got surface selection, which selects the individual components of the object. Now, this will be different for um, all your models, so I got lucky with this one and that it is actually two um, separate doors. So uh, once again, instead of using object selection, which is this one up here to select the whole thing, we'll use surface selection. So I select the, the individual parts by holding down shift and then selecting the whole model or all the parts I want. Um, and then here, once again, I just zoom in and I drag the pivot points to where I want it to uh, rotate around or pivot around and then just drag the door open to where you want it to be. Okay, there we go. Uh, you might need to tweak this a bit, as I can see my door is a bit off here. So I can just use move and then drag it until it's in a better looking position over there. Okay, now that's uh, the one way of doing it and that all depends on your model. Now the other thing we can see is if we look through this door, okay, this window here isn't actually transparent. Um, as we've covered, it's part of the surface orientation. It's, a, it's only um, made out of one surface, which is the front. So you'll see if we use surface orientation here, and I just click scan, or I can click in the empty space here, it'll flip it around. Go to the other side, the other side should be transparent too. So it all depends on the type of model you're using. Um, but if you're going for transparency, it doesn't really matter because you're going to see through the door anyway. So just choose a, a side that you'll have most of your renders on, and then um, you'll see that when you actually ray trace, um, your door will come out as a transparent uh, object. Uh, that, that, well, that glass wall, you can see there's some reflection on the glass too. Um, now let's look at export merge. Okay, Let's say we wanted to replace these two doors with something else. I'm going to go back to my um, design here, and whatever you decide to do, whether it's put a new wall in or put some new doors and windows in, um, you go draw up the object you want. So, like I'm doing here, is I'm deleting this door. I'm going to use update to fix my wall up, and then I'm going to put in two, two single doors. So, library, wood door, put in a single door. Actually, let's choose this one here. You've got your sizes, you choose the wall, you specify where you want it to be, and there you go. And then uh, you put in your other door. So let's put this in. Uh, select the wall. And then you can just line it up exactly like that. Uh, you want it to flip around. There we go. So now what we can do is we can go and export this. We're going to export merge it. So I'm going to delete this door and this wall altogether. Then I'm going to uh, merge only the door and the um, wall back, the doors and the walls back in. Not, not the whole room, just them by themselves. You'll find that if you do the whole room, you're going to get a whole bunch of overlapping objects. Um, 
you get some funny things appearing when you do your renderings. Okay, the Dawson come through, so I will use um, Advanced Export Merge. So just use this one if they don't appear. You don't have to set any target points with Advanced Export, you just right click and uh, set your mesh size to 800, that's fine, and in they come. Now it's the same process, except this time, if you click on the door, it selects the whole thing, because we put in two separate doors. Instead of having to select surface again, we can click on the whole door. So once again, I'm going to go back to my top view, uh, zoom in, and then uh, I can just rotate this again. So just adjust the pivot point. And actually, um, if I just want to zoom out a bit more, see, uh, you can actually see I was missing the end point of the door. So clicking and dragging will sort of slice through your whole design. So just, I'd rather just go all the way to the top so I can see the top of the wall, and maybe just move down slightly so I can see the rest of it. So now I'm going to move that pivot point again, and then just drag it open to whatever angle you want. Pivot point. There you go. And no matter where you put this pivot point, uh, this is exactly where the door will rotate around that, that, that point. So we'll take it to where the hinge, the hinge would be. And open it up, click apply, go back inside our room. <coughs> And there you go. Uh, just a little bit of extra stuff. Um, you'll see, you might encounter this with your designs, but you can see I put in my two floors, but they are actually two separate pieces, so I might even need to create a little section for this area here. Okay. So what I can do is I can simply use my rectangle tool, just trace out that gap, put the floor back in there, 20, there we go, and then merge that floor into my current design, export merge, select that floor, and now you'll see that that gap has also disappeared. Uh, so we've got our three different floors, we've got that one, we've got this middle one, and we've got that one. And of course you can obviously just apply the same texture to all the floors. Right.